houses and values. So th this is my house. This is an abstract space. It's always here. And if I ever vacate it, I lose. If Jake ever takes it, I lose. I've done a real simple setup here. I'm trying to stay strong up front. We only start with 10 cards and we have four spaces to occupy. So I have my queen of swords and her six. You know, we're at values. The six is, of course, worth a six. Everything is worth face value in the house. Okay. But if I had the queen out here commanding this club, he'd only be worth a one because that's not part of her suit. That represents lower cohesion between uh, the different factions, uh, the different estates of the feudal system. The, uh, uh, the ace is worth the same and you see the hand there's a hand in all these tarot cards when it comes to the ace and that gave us the idea that the ace would be like the hand of the ruler like they have in game of thrones your prime minister to your president so or your secretary of state to your president so this if i have an ace and i do i have an ace right here he's worth 12 because the queen's worth 12. If I draw the king of spades out of my deck, then I build my house a little bit more, and now my ace will be worth a 13. The joker is worth nothing. I'd recommend if you have an extra deck, keeping some extra jokers aside uh, to act as effects when we get into um, when we get into events with a tarot deck. You could use the joker to uh, hide your deployment. Okay, or you could use the Joker as an action, as a spy, and say, I want to see what's underneath there. I want to know what's in there, or I want to know what's in your house. Or I could use the Joker to try to assassinate his queen. Okay, uh, or we can even use the Joker for char to watch charges of adultery, for instance. Okay, sure. Uh, <laughs> now, in the house, if, let's say, he captures, I have a queen of hearts here. If we have a battle between these two stacks and he wipes this stack out, then my peasant cards all go away. They all go into my discard and she would go into Jake's dungeon. The queen of hearts would be underneath of his deck or behind it, however you want to play it. And if he managed to capture the jack, queen, and king of hearts, he could release them into my discard pile and all of my hearts would leave the board <laughs> and they'd all be in discard. So that would be a way one of my estates is no longer working for my house. That would be a major coup. So you have to be careful about the, the fate of all your royalty. And uh, it's not easy to kill the royalty. It's not. It's the, the object is to manipulate the royalty and to have a... a have a stable house and to unstabilize or destabilize your enemy's house.